Hello, this is Marty Chang from Granite State College. Just wanted to go through how we do project management and project portfolio management with some basic tools that are available to us right now. So to start, I'm going to take you to the project management group on Chatter. This is where project managers and people interested in project management around the college gather to discuss what's going on in the world of projects. One important link is the link all the way to the left here where there's a link to the project portfolio, which is currently a spreadsheet on Google. Over time, this is going to change, but I'm going to show you the spreadsheet right now. When you open the spreadsheet, the first thing that you're greeted with is a list of all of the active assignments. This shows you staff members and how many projects they're assigned to, and whether they're assigned to the project as a project manager or as a team member. For you to use this spreadsheet, there are a few key tabs I'll point you to. One is the projects tab. This is the master list of projects that are going on at the college. And if you want to add a project, all you have to do is go to the very bottom of the last project that has a name and type in the name of your new project. For example, I'm going to add in the project for Project Portfolio Essentials. And when I'm done, I'm going to add the progress, which is the status anticipated completion date and I'm pretty much done with this page for now. What I'm going to do next is go to the assignments page and assign myself as the project manager and then add a team member. So the key thing to remember is the project ID that you took from the last page that was automatically assigned. In this case that was 63. What you notice once you put on 63 is that the project name automatically populates. Then you add the name of the person, which in this case is Marty Chang, add the role, project manager, and again you'll see the project status was automatically filled in. So adding another project or a team member to the project is as easy. You just type in the ID, go to the staff member, in this case I'm going to hypothetically add Retta, and add the role of that new team member. And now you're done. So if you go back to the project, you're going to see that the Project Portfolio Essentials project lists Marty Chang as the project manager. And if you go to the active assignments chart, you'll notice that both Retta and Marty now have an extra project assigned to them. Thank you for watching, and next we'll show you how to create the project workspace in the Chatter Group.